Welcome back dear listeners so here is today's story. My world turned upside down when my cousin Matthias arrived. He awakened in me dark desires that I never imagined having, despite loving my boyfriend. John deeply, I could not resist the charms of Matthias. Everything began when Matthias appeared in my life. He was charming, mysterious, and made me question everything about myself. Little by little, I became more and more involved with him, leaving aside my relationship with John. I know I made bad decisions, but at the time, I was living. It seemed the right thing to do. Passion by Matthias Ayer, overwhelming, and I felt unable to control my feelings, even knowing that I was hurting John. I couldn't stop it. Was a sunny afternoon, and my parents' house was full of activity. They had organized a family reunion inviting all the relatives for a big meeting. The laughter echoed through the hallways, and the warm hugs filled the air. I was anxious, it had been years, since the last time I had seen all those familiar faces. Uncles, aunts, cousins mixed, creating a scenario of affection and nostalgia. But there was someone in particular whom I hoped to see again. My cousin Matthias Matthias was the child with whom I shared adventures at family parties. And we were children. I remember the laughter, the pranks in the backyard, and the stories we invented. He always had a smile, mischievous lips, and curious eyes that seemed to hide secrets. As the afternoon progressed, I watched each person who entered through the door, and then, as if fate had conspired in our favor, he appeared Matthias, now a tall and charming man with a look that still kept something of that child that I knew our reunion was magical. We talked about old times. We laughed about the pranks of childhood and shared stories of our adult lives. Matthias had become a traveler exploring the world and accumulating experiences. I on the other hand, was immersed in the routine of the big city as night fell, and the stars appeared in the sky. I realized that that meeting was not just a coincidence. It was one of those moments in which the past and the present met intertwined, creating a unique narrative. Matthias and I were characters in that story, and my parents' house was the perfect setting for that chapter. And so between laughter and hugs, I met my cousin again. Matthias not as the child I played with, but as someone who brought with him precious memories and the promise of new adventures. The family reunion became something more a journey of reunions and discoveries. The living room was lit by a row of flickering candles creating dancing shadows on the walls. It was a night of family reunion, and everyone was there. Uncles, cousins, grandparents, and lifelong friends. But for me everything seemed to fade when my eyes met Matthias. Matthias was no longer the chubby child I remembered from previous summers. He had transformed into a tall young man with broad shoulders and a smile that made my heart beat uncontrollably. I tried to hide my surprise, but Laura my best friend always noticed everything. Laura leaned over and whispered in my ear, Hey Brittany, who was that hottie dinner continued? But I could barely focus on the lively conversations around me. John my boyfriend was busy exchanging stories with the uncles, and I found myself lost in thoughts. About Matthias. How had I gone unnoticed for so long? I wondered after dinner we all gathered in the backyard. The music started to play and the guests gave themselves over to dancing and games. I saw myself dancing with John, but my mind was somewhere else. I looked at Matthias who was laughing with the cousins, and I felt a lump in my throat. What was happening to me I felt attracted to my. My cousins seemed crazy, but there I was, torn between the past and the present, between. The security with John and the electricity that Matthias awakened in my chest. And so on that magical night I found myself in a dilemma with my heart beating. I knew I would have to choose between familiarity and the unknown between what was safe and what made me feel alive, and while the music resonated around me, I wondered if Destiny also danced with us at that summer party that night Matthias and I got closer and closer. We talked about our lives and the memories of childhood and the complicity we had before. It seemed to have come back with force. The party was lively. The music was playing it was. And everyone was having fun. I was dancing with my boyfriend and some relatives. My eyes always went back to Matthias. He intrigued me more and more at one point. Matthias and I ended up dancing together. 
my heart raced as I approached him. Our eyes met and I felt a spark that took my breath away. It was exciting but also confusing. As we danced, the tension between us seemed to grow with every move during the dance. My mind drifted away from the party. I was in a fantasy world where only we existed. Matthias and I tried to focus on what we were talking about, but his eyes and his smile left. Me confused. It seemed like he could read my thoughts and know exactly what I was feeling. Even though I felt guilty about these thoughts, I couldn't help the attraction I felt for. My own cousin. I tried hard to stay away from him, but his image kept haunting my thoughts, his eyes. His smile. Everything seemed to be engraved in my mind, leaving me restless and confused for the rest of the party. I tried to maintain a normal appearance, but it was as if my head and my heart were in sync as the night progressed. I began to feel the weight of the emotions and the accumulated tiredness. Some drinks had left my mind even more cloudy, and the mixture of feelings was exhausting. Me. I decided that it was time to retire and rest a little in my room. I approached John, my boyfriend, and explained to him that I was a little tired and sleepy. And that I was going to sleep. He looked at me affectionately and wished me good night. The weight of my room seemed like a labyrinth of emotions. I couldn't stop thinking about Matthias and everything that had happened during the night. The party I felt confused and a little guilty for the feelings I had experienced towards. My own cousin when I got to my room. I fell off the bed. The silence surrounded me, but my mind was still full of thoughts. What I was doing. How could I be attracted to my own cousin? There were questions that had no easy answer. Tiredness began to torment me. But the more I tried to sleep, the more disturbed my mind became. It was as if a storm of emotions unwound inside me, leaving me restless and not knowing what to do after a little nap. I woke up suddenly with an urge inevitable. I needed to go to the bathroom when I left the bathroom. I found a surprise. There was my cousin Matthias waiting outside the door. He looked at me with surprise, and he said, Brittany, I thought you had already left. I answered with a smile that only I had fallen asleep for a while because I was exhausted. And I asked him if he had also retired between laughter and jokes. An idea came to me. I invited Matthias to go to my room for a bit since there was not much to do at the party. And I needed someone to let off steam. With already in my room, we settled in the bed and began to talk. We talked about our lives, our dreams, and our adventures. The conversation flowed easily as if there were no barriers between us. But as time went by, something began to change the looks between us. They became more intense, and a subtle flirtation was introduced into the conversation. I felt attracted to Matthias, and it was evident that he also felt something special for me. I tried to ignore those emotions and concentrate on the conversation. But it was getting harder and harder to understand what was happening to me. I felt confused and guilty for having those feelings towards my own cousin. In an attempt to divert attention, I mentioned John, my boyfriend. I told Matthias that we had been together for three years, and that we had many plans. Matthias nodded and looked me in the eyes, saying that he was happy for me, and that it was obvious that John and I were very happy together. This broke the tension a little, but my emotions took me down uncertain paths. I decided to lie down on the bed to feel more comfortable. The conversation was still pleasant, but the atmosphere began to change. I felt a little cold, so I decided to cover myself with the sheets between laughs and jokes. I told Matthias, don't you want to cover yourself? It's cold here too, upstairs. To my surprise, Matthias lay down on the bed and covered himself too. I was left speechless, a little nervous what was going on. And though it had been an innocent invitation, the atmosphere became more charged than I imagined. Still a little stunned by the drinks I had had during the party. I didn't say anything and let Matthias stay by my side, but deep down I knew it was dangerous. The emotions and desires were present in the air, and it was difficult to ignore them. The silence took over us. I didn't know what to say or how to act. My heart was beating hard, and my mind was full of contradictory thoughts. I knew this wasn't right. 
but I also felt a special desire, chill for Matthias, that I could not ignore in the middle. Of the tension. Our eyes crossed that spark that united us at the party, was lit again. Everything began with a look, a simple needing of eyes that triggered an attraction. Overwhelming me and Matthias cousins inseparable since childhood. Always we were very close, but at that moment something changed. A spark ignited between us and the latent desire finally exploded. I knew that was wrong. I had a boyfriend John whom I loved, and in whom I trusted, I could not betray that trust. I could not compromise our relationship. But the attraction was too strong, and resisting seemed an impossible task. When Matthias approached slowly, my heart accelerated. Our faces were so close that I could feel his breathing. The tension in the air was palpable, and the desire I consumed without thinking about. The consequences we kissed with passion. Forgetting everything about ourselves and the darkness of the room we let ourselves. Go for the moment, our hands explored every inch of skin. The caresses soft and intense as our bodies spoke a language of their own. In that instant we were both but in passion when everything ended. Reality hit me like a bucket of cold water. What had I done, I felt like a traitor, and the anguish coached me, and I looked at each other in silence knowing that this could not continue. We had to hide what had happened, to avoid any suspicion that night after the family party. I could not stop thinking about what had happened. My heart beat fast when I remembered the moments I had shared with my cousin Matthias. I knew that that was wrong. But I couldn't get those memories out of my head as I squirmed restlessly in bed, imagining the consequences if someone found out my secret. I couldn't even think about my family's reaction, especially my boyfriend John. That guilt consumed me from within, preventing me from resting. Finally exhausted, I fell asleep. But my dreams were filled with nightmares and regrets. Waking up the next day was a real torture, anxiety overcoming me. As I remembered the events of the previous night, when I finally left the room, I realized that the party was over, and my relatives had already left. Everything seemed different in my eyes, as if the world had changed while I was immersed in my turbulent thoughts. My heart sank as I thought about what I had done, and the impact it would have on my family. I had no idea how my loved ones would react when they found out the truth. I tried to stay calm and act normally with the few relatives who were still there, smiling and talking as if nothing had happened. But my mind was somewhere else lost in a whirlwind of emotions, without knowing how to deal with that situation. The next day passed apparently normally, but inside, I felt like my world had turned upside down. I woke up with a mix of relief and guilt. On one hand I felt relieved that no one suspected what had happened with Matthias. It was like he was my little secret, but on the other hand I was full of remorse and confusion. Throughout the day I tried to maintain my routine and appear normal as if nothing had happened. I met up with some friends, and we talked about trivial matters. But my mind was busy remembering the moments with Matthias. I had difficulty concentrating and keeping a smile on my face. Sometimes I felt guilty, laughing with my friends. When my life was full of secrets and lies. When I got home I sat in my room and reflected on everything that had happened, I could not believe what I had done. And I felt an adrenaline for having had that love affair. It was exciting and passionate, but I also knew it was a mistake. Although that moment with my cousin Matthias was intense and exciting, I was not proud of what I did. He says that secret will torment me forever. I had everything to be happy next to my beloved John, but one day a temptation called Matthias crossed my path. Matthias and I were cousins, but the chemistry between us was undeniable. We began to meet secretly betraying the trust of John. I knew I was doing something wrong, but the desire spoke louder, until one day I woke up and realized that I had made a big mistake. I did not want to lose John my true love. So I took a difficult step. I cut off all contact with Matthias, and I dedicated myself entirely to my relationship. John never found out about my betrayal. We continued together building a love that was increasingly stronger and more solid, and 
Then the news came that would change everything I was pregnant. The pregnancy was a turning point for us. John and I joined more focused on creating a new life and a future together. And that was the opportunity to start over to forget the past and concentrate on what? I really loved by John. Of course, from time to time, guilt and regret still tormented me after all. I had betrayed the trust of my beloved, but I was determined to overcome this, to forgive myself, and to strengthen our relationship even more. And so John and I moved forward writing a new love story full of challenges, but also of overcoming, and a love that overcame all barriers. We knew that together we could face things, and live happily ever after. I know I made a mistake, but I think we all deserve a second chance. If you agree with me, leave your comment and let's chat a little. Leave your like and subscribe, so you don't miss my next stories until next time.